Okay, so today's the day I'm prepping the roof of our rig to put some tape down um, because we have lots of rain coming and our um, tropical has not arrived yet and this used to the roof isn't going to take much more so I'm just prepping this to clean it before I start using the beauty wherever I go it's the same there's no excuses no one to blame sometimes I can't understand how it can be so hard to stay out of pain Pretty disgusting up here. Okay, really best to talk right underneath the cherry tree, and as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, a lot of cleaning and a lot of prepping to do for when the tropical arrives. But in the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can't cut some of these branches away from the top to stop it from you know coming down. <laughs> Um, this Saturday, we're moving a rig because they're going to have this cherry tree, it's a big one, chopped down, and then we won't have this, but in the meantime, we do. This time it is different, sometimes I can't understand how we can be so I can't believe I have to do it with scissors because that's all I've got. But less is more, I suppose. I don't know if this is the solution for now, but it's what's working for me at the moment. to scrub the entire roof because it's going to take more than a cloth and some spray. It, it's definitely going to need more than this. This, this is tragic. But I did get the panels cleaned, which is good because we definitely need that and the dome over the shower. I take off the cover here so that I can spray the fan and get that thing working right. Pennsylvania. Yesterday I spent some time up on the roof to prepare the roof um, to be taped off because I'm still waiting for the tropical sealant uh, for me to fix the leaks properly. I thought maybe if I put the tape, the butyl tape up there, it would help out a great deal. We are getting many leaks, this being one of them. So I put a towel here. It's really not going to stop much of anything. I mean, it's definitely soaking up. Um, so that's a this whole thing is about it. I have the slide in because every time every time the slide is out it just leaks even more. It's dripping from the window. And so every once in a while I have to dump the container. I don't really know what else to do at this point. Um I think the, my hands are pretty well tied um to having to wait for the sealant. The weather is coming from the south um due to Hurricane Ida. We're obviously not facing 
what the South is facing right now, which is terrifying. And my heart goes out to every one of them. I'm trying to keep things dry and uh, the best I can. As long as I can keep the pot up here to catch, to catch whatever yeah. water's coming in there. I believe that the, the front has a seal issue that um, I'm gonna need to um, some clear caulk around it and see what it is that I can stop. I don't know if I can stop this leaking. There's tape here because while we were down south, every time it rained, the water was coming through there. Prevented that from happening. I don't know. I think it was the caulking that I put up there originally, but um, bugs were coming in. So I stuck this up to stop the bugs from coming in. I do know that the ceiling is going to have to come down. The insulation has to come out. New insulation is going to have to be put back up. And to that point where I can feel Whatever it is that I'm thinking is going to work. So I think first things first. When all this rain, after days later, we need to prep more of the roof and get it ready for, ready. The, for the tropical uh, sealant. So come along with us and see how this works out. I hope we can be a help and a benefit to others that may be going through the same thing and not sure what they're doing or what they should use so everything at this point in time is hit or miss Where you would like to go 